Drift boats are very good at going down through rapids. Often though, it's important to learn how to read that water and to slow the boat down so you don't bury your nose in any of the waves. And then if you do have to get into some of the bigger waves, it does have a nice rocker to it. You take your time, keep your bow pointed right. Go slow enough up over them. You can do that without getting wet. It might bounce around a little bit, but it works real well. It's also important to learn how to what we call cheat the rapids. You move out of the, the worst stuff to stay dry. You have to learn to recognize what holes are, what reversals are, and those are not good places to take a drift boat. Drift boats are very maneuverable. They do what we call ferry very effectively. That means you must turn the boat a little sideways to the current, and you can pull back or push and cross the current. So one of the keys to rowing a boat is learning how to make your back ferries and your forward ferries. If your boat is absolutely parallel in the current, you can do nothing but slow down or speed up. You can't cross that current. So it's important to kick your boat a little bit to an angle, maybe all the way up to 45 degrees to make a strong ferry. If you're sitting cross current at 45 degrees, you can push or pull on the oars and actually move left or right across that current. Pulling plugs is also known as back trolling or hot shotting. Because drift boats are so maneuverable, they are a perfect match for plug pulling. In essence, the technique seems simple. You cast or drift the lures out to the desired distance from the boat. Then using the boat, you hold back against the current. The floating lure or plug has a diving bill that digs against the current. The lure dives under, wiggling. The oars person maneuvers the boat, fishing the lure through a suspected steelhead lie. The technique can be used to cover a lot of water. It can provide long presentation time with minimal hang-ups. But for the technique to be successful, nuances of tackle, presentation, and location need to be understood. I prefer level wind rods while pulling plugs. The drags are very efficient. The line comes straight off the spool instead of making a, a major right hand turn the way they do on a spinning rod. The modern spinning reels are very effective. They have good drags and they do work well. But the level wind has another advantage. If a fish is pulling hard, and the fisher person reels against the drag and the drag kicks in on a spinning reel, you'll twist the line. The bait casters can be reeled against the drag and the line will not twist. Also, a nice feature is a thumb can be put on the spool while fighting the fish. Feathering on the pressure to increase the drag when needed to keep a long running fish in the hole. You're down into the backing. He's way out there. We might have to chase him. It's all right. <laughs> oh, man. Also, the thumb can be used momentarily to stop the drag from kicking in when pumping a fish closer. To be released, of course, when the fish takes off again. 
<laughs> He's burning the sun. Bye-bye. <laughs> I hear you, rascal. When bringing a fish to the net, a thumb on the spool, though ready to release if needed, can stop the drag from kicking in, helping to pull the fish into the net. Drop them back. Oh, they're off. 